Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory, yes. We're back on good old Satisfactory, ready for another day. Ready to, uh, ready to, uh, continue our modded playthrough. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video, along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager. So we can download, so you, not we, but so you can download and install mods for yourself, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing it all up. Messing it all up. Yeah, I was uh, adjusting audio levels there after I'd realized the audio levels weren't correct. <laughs> eh, well, well, we'll just we'll just leave it in. It's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to leave in some of that stuff. So, anyway, but yes, um, I did do quite a bit of stuff uh, in between episodes. Well, quite a bit is I don't know if you call that relative or not. Um, it's just because I'm allowed more time in between episodes, so I'm allowed to get more done. And I can get the uh, boring stuff done. Well, I guess it's all it, it's all relative to how you view it, I guess. <laughs> but I did finish the track uh, all the way to our point where we're going to build the station. Uh, so that has been finished as well as all the supports for it. I got some I got some interesting stuff in here. A little bit interesting, anyway. We shall see how it goes. Okay, so I removed this because the birds kept spawning in the foundation, so I just decided to remove it entirely. Just put normal supports up. I climb the hill. This is where we ended. Right there. And now we go down the hill. I'm actually going to slow down so we don't miss all of it. And I built a, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a proper train bridge, but it's definitely as close as I can get without going, without spending another four hours, you know. Uh... Careful here. Okay. So I'm actually going to. You, you notice there's some things in here, but uh, to get a true appreciation for this, this one took me I don't know a few hours to uh, uh, come up with the concept for and to actually make. I'll put that ladder there for now. I got full health. We're good. Okay. There we go. See if this uh, this is a train bridge. I kind of took some inspiration from the real uh, real world stuff, which most of the train bridges uh, that are just strictly for trains, you know, they they're built with like the minimum the minimum amount of material possible because the train is on its own track. It really doesn't need the same amount of support that say a road does. Uh, so they're usually made out of like beams and. And, and cross beams and stuff, and these are the sleepers, is what they call them. Uh, I believe that's what they call them, the, the sleepers underneath the tracks. Um, so I put my own in here. I thought the beams were uh, perfect for that. And then, of course, I did like concrete, and I decided to do it all blue. Da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> yeah, I did it all, um, did it all blue. I did the, uh, the, uh, um, Fix it secondary, I think it's called, or the, the fix it factory secondary color, uh, which is more like a steel blue. It's more of a kind of a uh, kind of weird blue. Like I, I didn't want it bright blue like the WSI blue we got going on. So I uh, just decided that that was um, that was uh, looked pretty good as well. So we need some dark colors anyway because of the rest of the track. A lot of the support stuff that we put in here can't be colored. Um, so I use these, uh, I use the road barriers as the sleepers for that. Brought it on over. It did take me a few hours to uh, actually kind of come up with an idea, even just playing around, and then I was like, oh, why don't I just go look online <laughs> for an actual train bridge? Uh, remember, this is quite tight in here. We, like, just barely clear that. And we're at the end. <laughs> of course. We are at the end of our track here. Uh, so, yeah. Did all the supports in between there and here. Um, which is all done. Uh, sorry if you wanted to see all that. But I just... I don't know. Doing a few episodes on... Uh, quite a few episodes on just a track build. Um, was uh, not gonna... It was not gonna do it. It was... Yeah, I'm sure people were getting tired of that, but we're gonna build a few. Um, we're gonna build a few train stations over here uh, for our courts. I don't know why this is here. Okay, so um, yep. 
I'm still working. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to build the train station right here. And then a train station over there somewhere. And then we're going to link the two into this uh, section. So that's how we're going to do it. I need to drop off all of my grass and stuff. As well. Got too much of this. <laughs> too much of this stuff. Might have to back this train up. Accessing this inventory. Eh. Eh. Got it. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I'm out of uh, concrete. I'll take your concrete off you. Yeah. Uh, sure. That, you can have that and that. Oh, and that as well. I guess not that. Okay. That uh, organizes all that. And we got some extra concrete to build with. Okay. Plus we got more over here, so it's not like it's not like we're completely out of concrete or anything. Um Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, uh, as well. Pretty nice build. Um, do I have the iron plates? I do not have the iron plates to build out of iron, or to build out of normal. I was like, we could do it like a normal kind of standard fix-it factory, um, style. Okay, how's this train station gonna go? So, the train station needs to aim this, uh, this way, I think. I'm gonna go right up next to this. Um, right up next to this, this dude right here. Okay. We're not going to be very high off the ground either. Don't need to be. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to go even this, like this might be the start of it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Okay. Oh, this is going to be weird. I've done... I was here before, and now I can't remember how I did it. We could incorporate the mine into the actual train station. We haven't done that before. Uh, but that's... Man, that's too much work. Way too much work. So it was a six, right? Six foundations because it's a through station, so it doesn't need to be as wide. Uh, and then it needs to be... So we got 12, 13, 14 long. Uh, uh, well, crap. That kind of pushes it off the edge, doesn't it? Okay. Um, what if we rotate it? We move it this way, but then we rotate it to be uh, this way instead. That way, at least, it's all there. Um, and then we sort of uh, we sort of just end it before this uh, before this thing here. Yeah, that's that's how we're gonna have to do it. Okay, is this 14? We can use this as our marker. We can move it with the uh, micromanager. We're out in the desert though, or close to. Yep, I remember exactly where my tracks were in season two and season one. Or no, not season one. Sorry. Um, Season 2 and the in-between Season 1 uh, and the multiplayer that we did. And season 1 was actually some of my first um, solo videos. Or was my first solo video Season 1 was. If you haven't seen that, you can go back and watch it. It's, it's not that great. <laughs> it was... It's pretty... Well, that, I mean, this is not that great either, but that's even worse in my opinion. Um, just mainly because I didn't know what to say or what to do. I mean, I still don't, but, you know, at least I, I have enthusiasm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what the? Oh, you look at what this is doing to the screen. It's like messing with the, it's messing with the game a little bit. That's crazy. This is actually, I think this, um, this is based off of the old, uh, 
hologram system. That's what the old holograms used to look like. They were a little more clear, or a little more transparent, but yeah, this is what they look like. <laughs> you were placing stuff down. Uh, wasn't as good as now. Uh, change that to huge, we'll go control, and we'll go L. Whoa! Control Z, that. Uh, go large. Maybe? Like, I'm fine with it being here. Oh, we'll have to move it back a little bit, I think, because we gotta... Yeah, because we've gotta, um... What do you call it? You'll see. Uh, we gotta move it back, because we gotta make that turn. So we'll go Control, or no, Alt. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I like how we can ride on it. It's, it's fun. Um... Yeah, so the this is gonna be this is gonna be the the side track. And then we're gonna have one, and then two, and then we're gonna have one. So the the outgoing track is gonna be by here, and then we're gonna need enough room to combine the right side track and over here. So um, let's see, how far are we this way? I don't think we're all that far. We might not worry about it. Go another foundation. Oops. Uh, alt. Two, three, four. Yep. Just remember when you're using huge, uh, the huge version or the huge movements. Uh, the uh, every movement that that it that you make is um, one meter. So, just gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so that means this train station is gonna be hanging over the edge, yeah. So, 13. Oops, I should have. Yeah. Yay! Massive train stations. Hopefully they, hopefully they, they make them better in the future. Eventually they'll hit a point where the. I love how that doesn't load and the uh, sand's all black. It's so weird. Because the it's it's weird because the sand clear over there is the proper color. So what's with this black sand? Are we in like Guatemala? Was it Guatemala that had the black beaches? Or somewhere around there. It's like, um, it's like, uh, I don't know if it's part of Mexico or not. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, it's very far south. Uh, it's in between the, uh, North and South America. It's like that little, there's this little stretch of land between North and South America, and they have like they have black sand beaches. It's crazy. Never been there. Uh, I just seen pictures, and this one person had um, they had this little little glass jar of sand. It was really tiny, really tiny glass jar of sand there from there. It's actually really cool. It's like, oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um. What should we do for this train station, like, design-wise? I, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to do the original fix-it. Um, approved, maybe we do that? Should do the old fix-it approved train station stuff. Ah, the only problem is, is it costs... Um, it costs plates, and I really don't have that many. So if I have to go back and go get more iron plates, I'm going to be mad. But that might be how it goes. I'm just thinking, though. It's just like, yeah, we haven't done a like a true fix-it uh, train station yet, either. Uh, the reason I want to do fix-it is because I want to do, like, colors and things. Like, I have a... I don't exactly have a train station uh, design in mind. Yeah, this is costing way too many plates. Look at this. Uh oh. Alright. 
damn auto saves. What? Damn all tabs. <laughs> So yeah, here's our train station. I kind of want to lift it up and put... I kind of want to put more of this. Um, more of this stuff. But I kind of don't at the same time, but I do at the same time. Like, I don't know, it's really hard to explain <laughs> what I want to do. And I don't I don't want to... I don't want to build my own, so... It's like, if we put this underneath... Uh, just like that, just to make it look more structurally sound, I think. I put that underneath there, and then we just... Can't really. They they should add more frame stuff. Like I would think, frame versions of all the foundations would be. Uh, that would be reasonable. Uh, yeah, there's. It's really hard to do. Um, we could do like concrete here. So you get like a mix of all the different um, materials. Right Something like that. And this is just the base, so it really doesn't matter to me. What are you, what are you you're grazing on rocks, dude? I mean, I know you're made of rock, but... animal. <laughs> Whatever. It can take shelter or anything out of the sun, I guess. Maybe there's a spider cave underneath here. Near him. So that, that, that solves that problem. Well, not or the, the base of it, anyway. Um, I think we're going to do the walls later. Um, I need to go get my iron plates, and I do not feel like... Um, I do not feel like cutting out, like, like half an hour trip. <laughs> I don't know how long it would take. Uh, I mean, we get the train here, so it probably wouldn't take all that long. Um, well, actually, it would take... A, decent amount of time, because I'd have to go, if I wanted the train right all the way back to base, uh, I'd have to go all the way down the spiral, or I'd have to go all the way through this entire network, go all the way down the spiral, go into the next train network, go all the way through that train network, all the way down to where the iron and copper are, get off at the train there, and then get out and climb up through the, uh, do the the train enter the uh, the subway entrance and then out onto the street and all the way up to the iron or all the way to the iron plates where they're being made and they come all the way back. That would take a very very long time. Um, maybe if we build the entire train network, I'll uh, we'll time it. Um, I'll go through and uh, and uh, we'll we'll. We'll ride the entire train all the way back. This is this is going to be the furthest point here, isn't it? I think this is going to be the furthest point. Or not this one, but the next train station is going to be the furthest point. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in this box we've got our, our stuff here, so we shouldn't be hurting for materials. So this is going to be a through, a through station, so it really doesn't matter. Um, 
how big it is. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Just as long as it's in the middle, I guess. Yeah, I'm hoping that we have enough room to go from here over to meet this track and then continue on. Um, okay, all this is going to be the same level. I think what I might do is I might, uh, I might bring this train or this track here into a full on curve. Um, joining the other train because they're going to need to they're going to need to curve over pretty hard I think um, we shall see uh, so we got freight platform all the all the stuff is over here isn't it so one two if I don't fall off the edge, eh? Fine. Okay. There we go. Alright, that's that entire train station. Oh yeah, we do need one extra over here. I forgot. Thanks for reminding me, guys. Completely forgot about that. I would have I would have done the entire episode like that had you guys not reminded me. <laughs> this is why I wish I could stream. Effectively stream, I mean. Because, man, can you imagine how much fun that would be? Whoops. Heck yeah. And then you guys could, could remind me all the time of the stuff I forget. Man, that'd be so good. Just thinking about it, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I can't. I can't stream effectively right now. Especially with the way this computer acts. It's very it's it's becoming very, very slow. Um, probably because of the hard drives. <laughs> I say probably because I we we really don't know. There's uh, not exactly a uh, what do you call it? There's not exactly a uh, answer. We're just kind of guessing at this point. But I think it's the hard drives. It's the only thing that makes sense. Is the hard drives are slowing the, the computer down. Because every time the computer gets incredibly, incredibly slow. It's usually because the system is trying to do something. Like Windows 10 is trying to do something. And... It uh, the entire computer slows down. Now I'm sure most people would say, "Well, mine does that too." When when, when the OS tries to do something, mine mine slows the entire PC down as well. It's like, yeah, I, I get that, but my the reason I think it's the hard drive is because my one of my hard drives is uh, over 10 years old. <laughs> like quite literally, I bought uh, I, the hard drive, the one hard drive that's in this computer, I bought in 2013. So. And it says 2011 on it uh, when it's manufactured. So <laughs> it's a Toshiba. It's lasted 10 years though, and it's still it's still going. It hasn't failed yet. So and I say I put a quote on yet yet. <laughs> you never know. Um, oh no. Oh. Okay. Nope. This can still be fixed. Um. That can still be that can still be done. I just need a miner. I need to put a miner down there uh, to see the clearance, because obviously it's going to be going this way. So uh, that's under production. Yeah, we need a little bit of that, and then we need to make a couple of. Let's see. There's is there three? There's three nodes. Uh, three nodes up here, isn't there? Quartz. Quartz nodes. One, two, three. Yep, there's three nodes over here. Oh, we're going to have to snake in between these. There's one here. Okay, so three nodes. So that means we're going to need six portable miners. And 10, 20, 30 of the uh, 
um, the uh, encased encased industrial beams. That's what they are. So we do have encased industrial beams on this train. Uh, we just need to take a stack. That should be all we need for right now. Okay. Oh, those are just now pinging. And they, they pinged and then disappeared immediately. Alright. Sounds good to me. I need to... Don't let me forget, after this episode, I need to I need to update my uh, graphics card. My graphics card has uh, been pinging me. Um... Saying, hey, we got a driver update. <laughs> I like to keep my stuff up to date. Where, oh, where is, oh, there it is, workshop. Okay. There we go. So, I do have enough room for all those portable miners. This is good. Portable miners! Uh, where are you? So I need to make six of these bad boys. I like these portable miners. I like that they got character. I just, I wish that the big miner also had character. I think that'd be amazing. Like if it had like an eyeball and stuff like that. And it was, and if it was like sitting there idle, it'd just be kind of just looking around. But if it was mining, it had the focus, you know, kind of half closed eye look like it's really trying to mine the, the material. Be amazing. Give it, uh... He was annoying me. <laughs> Just hearing him do his hissing thing every two seconds was uh, getting on my nerves. I was like, ugh. <laughs> okay, so this is directly... Yeah, that's directly with it. Alright. So, even if we have a track here, it will pretty much miss, but I'm still going to aim kind of this way. With that. Okay. Good, good thing we noticed that. Um, so, yeah, I think, I don't know if I want to turn this yet. Or turn this. Um. See, a lot of these foundations are going to be temporary, so. So we're going to do... It's going over one foundation. It needs to go over one and a half. Uh, in order to do the thing. Then it can go back this way. Don't know if this is... Yeah, this is way too close. Okay. Um... So we need to go over into the next foundation. So it's going to be it's going to be um, bringing these together weirdly, but it's going to work. So this needs to go here. This needs to go here. Now it needs to go here uh, or here. Oh wait, what? Hold on. Yeah, this needs to go. So there to there, yep, yeah, okay. I'm used to looking at the concrete, that's why I'm kind of confused, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I just thought, because the other one needs to... Uh, go there too. So if we go, let's say we go to here, and then we go to here. No, that's too short. Alright, we need to go somewhere in between then. I think. So it needs to, yeah. So we go to this one, and then we go Here. Let's see if it'll line it up for us. 
should go right to the edge. No? It's gonna go to there. Yeah, we'll do some tests. Right, that's too short. Okay. So we need to go to the halfway point right here where I'm standing. Alrighty. Gonna have to do something weird with this one. What the heck? Well, that's weird. Didn't think you could do that. I need to get it into a place where I can uh, where I can curve. See what's the what's the shortest? Uh, so right there. Okay. It's like immediately going to be turning. What if we put it like right here? But then instead of this curve, hold on. I have. I has an idea. What the? Okay. Sorry, my brain turned off there for a second. I don't know if you guys have ever had that. <laughs> yeah, my brain just, like, it, it turned off for a second. It literally, like, when I jumped, I thought, for some reason, I thought that I was being thrust into the air by something. That's why I was just, that's why I was just like, what the? And I forgot what game I was playing. <laughs> Out of the legs. Wait, no, we wanted this at an angle anyway. Anyway. So yeah, basically we pull that that to here. Uh, sorry, Getting on this corner, uh, and then we need to go. go to this corner. And we go to that corner. Right. Okay. Now the cool thing is, is I could probably go right by this. I just need to get the other one here. Ish. Actually. Let's see, it would be. So that one's there, so then the one next to it would be like roughly here. Be like middle foundation. And then we go to here. Should be able to, yeah. It's like then we should be able to turn it. Looks like it turns right there. Okay. And then let's get. There's a hole there. Actually, I don't think the hole is needed. <laughs> and then we take this all the way along the tracks. Put that there. 
right. Okay. There we go. And that brings the two tracks together. Oh, look, these ones almost aim up perfectly. Hopefully you're going to miss that miner. It almost seems like this needs to be closer, doesn't it? Yeah, like it needs to be like here instead. Not like that. Also, this needs to be go longer, but see, it almost needs to be like, yeah, there. Oh, this, this freaking thing. Okay, needs to be halfway down this foundation. Take it to here. It should be relatively straight with that one. Oh, wait, the train's gonna bang this signal, isn't it? <laughs> that probably sounds weird. That's not what I meant, but. Okay, so then it'd be, what, here? That looks a little better. Still far further apart than I want, but... It does bring them back together. Now if I do that, it'd be weird. I do, I need to bring it right like that, okay. And then this goes around the, the miner there. Okay. It can be a little bit weird putting walls on this one as well. That's okay. So, is that the way I want it? Let's try this miner here. This miner's gonna be... That's uh, way too close for my liking, I think. What if we pull this from back here instead? We go to there. It does pull it a little further away, but does it pull it far enough? Okay, well, we can do this then. Yeah, because right here is with the, with the thing, but we move it like this, and it'll be just fine. And of course we got this one over here, which is going to go... Let me get this angled up. bring quartz over here. All right, we can get rid of all this. This is just a wasting foundation. Yep. <laughs> These things are so expensive. For iron plates, that is. I know I got a million of them back at base, but I'll take all. We'll race that box as well. Okay. Then we can put our supports underneath here later. Probably. Something like that. 
Um, this has power, doesn't it? This should have power. Let's make sure this has power. Yep, this has power. Hey, we're actually doing pretty good on the power front. Like, this is what we're producing. This is what we're consuming. I mean, I know, but most of the trains are running. Um, also, this is going to be... Oops. It's going to be... Uh, quartz. Mine. Bravo. And we got Quartz Mine Alpha over there. Which is going to be the start. Just like we did the other train station. Or train network. So yeah, um, at some point this train line is going to be connected um, over here-ish. I'm not going to walk over the way over there, but... You know, we could use that uh, old way that we used to uh, do the trains. Remember season two? It's like we could use that same uh, that same section of space uh, for the for another oil train because we need another oil train bringing in oil. We're not we're not bringing in nearly enough oil uh, anymore, and we haven't been for a long time. And it's down that way, so we could. Now look, the the sand is all loaded. What the heck? Um, that's actually a really pretty view. Like right here. We do like this. We hit P, and then we hit the middle mouse button. Hit H. That's a really pretty view. Especially like right around the sunset morning areas. I always like the desert. You know, we're doing a screenshot of that. That's a really nice view. Can't get, can't get nicer than that. Well, it will uh, once uh, uh, once update out eight comes out to uh, experimental. <laughs> or not experimental, sorry. Uh, freaking early access. There we go. Smack me on the head, man. Yeah, once uh once uh update eight comes to early access, oh man, our game's gonna look so good. We won't be able to run uh, probably. Uh, more, more than likely, we're not going to be able to run with Lumen on. I know Lumen's not officially supported, but I I want to see this game with Lumen. It looks so good uh, from what they've shown, but once they work out all the bugs and stuff... I think they're they're working on... Weren't they, like... Didn't they say they're, like, working on a way for... Um, for them to be able to get... Uh, be able to get Lumen to uh, so you, like, if you turn it on and something terribly goes wrong they were like worried you wouldn't be able to turn it off again um, so they're like they were like trying to work something out I can't remember uh, but we do need to change our quartz colors as well uh, quartz color quartz color and W side blue Sweet. Um, let's get some walls up, shall we? Oh yeah, uh, from when I was building the uh, hub station, I had it on steel wall. Was I doing steel wall for the other ones? Nah, I don't remember. But yeah, I want to do this wall, but I'm afraid that it's going to be too uh, too expensive currently. Like if I was to say do this. Actually that's not that that's not that bad. Two, three. Thirty-two. Sixty-four. Aim. It's it's actually not that bad. Uh currently. <laughs> uh one, two, three. Especially because we're gonna be missing pieces. It's going to be set up just like the other ones. It's just this one's going to be colored and maybe we'll do something special with it. I'm not sure. Because quartz is a really interesting like material. And I have a few ideas of what I want to do with that as far as um, you know, other stuff. Wait. What? Uh oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Two, three. Why is this thing clipping? Oh, is it clip? It's clipping with that wall. Okay. What? I clicked. You saw me, game. You saw me click the the clicker button thing on the mouse. No? You didn't see that? No. Oh, because of that. I see. That's why. Because this game has a real problem when it comes to uh, sticking to keys being stuck. I know, it's... People are probably laughing right now. Ha oh, ha, that's funny. Sticky keys. <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> I will agree. Um, okay, so which way do we need to go um, next? So, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna put the power in and get the belts hooked up just yet. I wanna see which way the train track to go, or the train line needs to go. Okay, this way. Alright, let me uh, get a concrete kind of pillar going. Alright, so the train line needs to go this way. So that means what I should probably do is I should probably bring the I should probably bring the rails out to go at about a 45 again. Um you know what, let's do this in concrete so I don't run out of plates. As I'm gonna delete it anyway. So we'll go back up here, and then we'll uh, get the, the back end rail set up as well. So we probably want to, like I said, we probably want to go to about a 45. And where's that 45 going to be? Actually, if we if we bring them together over here and then we make a perfect like right angle, that'll set us up for just about getting there. Oh, the only problem is though if I gotta do the if I gotta do the train line for the oil coming up this way like we did in season two, I might run into it a bit of an issue getting that connected. What we could do is we could we could prepare uh, for a connection point uh, this way um, down here. Not maybe not it. Well, now we don't want it at ground level because we need to still be able to drive, uh, but it does need to be in this uh, exact section. So maybe we'll build like a we'll build like a structure. What do you think? Like a structure point because it's going to need to be. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be, uh, or it's going to be one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So it's going to need to be six, a six by six, right here. Um, at about what this high? If we keep it all at a level, uh, then we don't have to worry about height so much. Um, okay. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these. Uh, in this, uh, and then we're gonna go. Is this gonna be the inside or the outside, or does it matter? It is going to be the outside, okay, or the left side, sorry. Alright, so we need to build off to the right. This is how I <laughs> sometimes do it. Uh, so then we do that, and we'll go. I love using the micromanage for this. So we go medium. Control K. Control. Go to tiny. Right there. Okay, perfect. So then we'll take this. Um, 
we need to go a bit further. Take this out. I was going to leave that there, but then I'm like, yeah, we need to do this instead. So... We won't worry about this anymore. So we'll leave this one here. Okay. Should be this. And then this. So yeah, we're just going to build a straight up intersection right here. Or it's going to be a six by three, sorry. Got confused there. We're gonna build it as an outright, just straight up structure above the ground here. Um, the reason is, is so I can drive underneath. <laughs> just a straight up bridge. I almost want to move it over one more. Yeah, we'll move it over one more. Um, so I'm just looking at the. Ooh, just looking at the center of this thing. Yeah. So the center is going to be. So it's gonna be here-ish. So it starts here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, now we want to do. Okay, so we gotta do this. We gotta do our bracer tracks real quick. Railways. Okay. Should be across the entire six. If you're wondering why I call them bracer tracks, it's just because um, uh, back there on uh, city skylines, when you were building um, uh, when you were building your own roundabouts, if you built bracer roads in the middle, when you built your roundabout, like you had the cross, right? Uh, you built the cross and then you and then you made the circle all the way around. You would leave those. Uh, you would leave that cross in the middle until you got done connecting all your connections in and out of the roundabout, all of them. Uh, and then you delete the middle of the road because if you delete the middle of the road, it keeps a circle. But then you connect other roads to it, and it deform. So that's why I call it. I call it bracer roads. And then in here, this is doing the same thing essentially. You could also do that. Uh, you could do this exact same thing in. Uh, city skylines as well. One, two, three. Uh, I love how you can hear the wind. Why is it so foggy over here? It's crazy. Yeah, you could, uh, you could do that. You can actually do that in city skylines as well. When you're building highways, if you build little sections of road where you're building your highway, uh, and then connect them up with long stretches to make them nice and smooth curved and stuff like that. Nice smooth hills. Uh, you could do that that way exactly like you do it in this game. Uh, and it works. It, it essentially works the same way. So. It's actually really cool. Okay, this one goes here. Build some bracer tracks on this side. Because yeah, this is where the rail is going to meet up with this rail. So then this rail is going to go this way. I mean, we don't have to do it this way. We don't have to connect these um, like I am, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, just because it looks cool. <laughs> That's pretty much why. All we need is this this rail in. Whoops! Didn't 
realize it was autosaving there. Wow, I did a little jump after the autosave. <laughs> Don't know why. Hey, look, the sun's rising. It's so foggy over here, it's crazy. What the heck? Is it a sandstorm? It looks like a sandstorm, that's what it reminds me of. Well, it's, I guess it's not brown. Like an actual sandstorm, but... Yeah, the alt is uh, on again. There we go. Okay, we all good? We all good. <laughs> yeah, all we would need is this track and this track. This track for the return rail and this track for coming this way, but... I'm going to connect it all, just for, just for fun. Um, okay, so we can get rid of these. We can lock... Or, lock this all off of here for right now because uh, we don't need it yeah it's just gonna get rid of the things but okay. I'll lop them off too okay oops actually want to be over there <laughs> okay now we know where we're aiming uh, so now we know how to connect these two, or how we're going to connect these two. Uh, so I do want to bring this in as straight as we can. Because um, this is going to... Yeah, we'll bring it to right about... Ish along this line. Just needs to be, like I said, needs to be straight as an arrow. Okay. And this one, probably just gonna curve this one straight in. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Let's just curve it right on in there. And they can it can go yep, right back to where it's gonna go. Okay, so this one let's go that way. Just as long as it doesn't curve back, it does. Dang it. Okay, so we need to bring this back a bit more, probably to. Yeah, get rid of this. Um, Straight, perfect piece of track. Okay, that doesn't... Yep, that doesn't go back on itself. Okay. And this one we're just gonna... Actually, this one I might bring out a little bit. And then curve it in. Just so I can build the... Um... So I'll build this, and then just so I can build the wall. Oh, okay. It's too sharp, apparently. Okay, let's go as short as we can go then. Let's see if that'll work. No, it hates it. Okay. So it's only going to connect. Well, oh well. <laughs> it's only going to connect like that. That's the only way we can do it. Uh, Alright. Okay, so, yep, we're going to have the switch track here. Then trains loading will go this way. The oil train or the other train will go this way to go around. And then it'll connect right up there. So I think between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to base, and I'm going to go get some iron uh, plates. Uh, we'll put this in here. Fortunately, this one, this wall is going to have even less support because I can't. The way I've designed these train stations, I haven't uh, given myself a whole lot of room for supports. Um, the only problem is the only supports I can give it that I can color are either the concrete ones. Or, uh, or these painted beams. We could do the painted beam stuff. Put this here. I don't know. 
put this here. Something like that. And then pull the beam up through the thing. Oh, something like that. Maybe. What if we did a wall? Or a couple of walls, right? I have an idea. Let's get rid of these for a second. Those look, those work so well together. I mean, it's supposed to. If I use the micromanager then, and then we go control shift and make it huge, and then we go alt J. Okay, so that's like in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you, and it looks like it's it looks like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's stuck in the same. It just it just happened. <laughs> it's funny. I it just it, it I didn't even register that I did that until like thirty seconds after. <laughs> so wait, what the heck? What's wrong with me? Anyway, yeah, we can do that. That's actually pretty nice. Um, we can do that. You can you can't do that with the concrete ones, but you can probably you could do that with the steel ones definitely, because they don't have any side pieces. Um, and this just makes it work flawlessly as well. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's let's get the power out of this uh, out of this train station, shall we? Uh, we probably won't be mining quartz today, um, because we're at the end of our episode, probably. Something like that. <laughs> um, because I still need, we still need to figure out where we're going to run the belts and get the belts in here. So I'm probably not going to, we'll probably do that, we'll probably do that, um, I, I don't know why I'm repeating myself. We'll probably do that next time. Um, but hey, we got this done. I'll get the supports done, and I think, uh, I'll try anyway. I don't know if I'm going to have time because it's going to be, it's, it's a little hectic. <laughs> Need to get rid of all this as well. Like I said, I was going to delete this and we do have full health, so we can most certainly drop out of the sky. Actually, it didn't even hurt. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be a little hectic this week, I think. It's going to be hectic every week, but this week in particular. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'll change this to... Um, I'll change this to that design I made for the, the train bridge. And we'll make this into, like, a little a little platform thing. Um, with the, with the, the sleepers and stuff, maybe. Or something, something like that steel structure. Uh, the concrete's going to go away, probably. Um, because it's too low, uh, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, vehicles can fit underneath it, but yeah. Well, we'll make it look a little better anyway. Um, and then, yeah, so next time we'll, uh, we'll finish getting this one ready. We'll get this one, uh, hooked up to, um, we'll get this one hooked up to, uh, to power and to mining quartz filling that train station. And then we'll go over to this one uh, next time as well, and then get it hooked into the system. That should be it, though. Next episode should be it for the uh, for the for the functionality of this. Either that or Friday's episode. Um, yeah, so it's either going to be Thursday or Friday, and we'll be done with this uh, rail network by the end of the week. Um, we're actually kind of ahead of a schedule, which is good. Um, I actually plan to use up this entire week for this rail network, so. Um, but uh, it wasn't going fast enough, that's why I was starting to do stuff offline. Or not off, not offline. Starting to do stuff off camera. Um, just kind of, you know, a little bit of building here and there of uh, certain boring bits and, and whatnot. Well, at least what I consider boring. I mean, I, I don't exactly consider this game boring. Uh, I do like playing it. I do like... Uh, doing a lot of the building and stuff like that, but I don't know how all you guys feel all the time. So, yeah, and we still need we still do need to do the rail network for the oil, but I'm probably going to do that on my own time because that one's that one's a thing for Yeah, that's probably a thing for another day. <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> Keep repeating myself here. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. Um, so we got we got a little bit done. Got a little bit done. Got a train station done and some rails. Um, yeah. We'll uh, continue this next time. Uh, so I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye.